guys, I'm Jess McDonald. It is the 22nd of January and you're tuned into GameSpot News. Let's dig into all that paying YouTubers for praise drama from yesterday, shall we? Yesterday, it was revealed that Microsoft was giving machinima producers a monetary incentive to portray the Xbox One and its games in a positive light. Machinima and Microsoft have responded to the reveal by saying it's just a typical partnership. The joint statement from Microsoft and Machinima was basically a justification combined with a cop-out and a wall of vague. Microsoft said they had no idea that Machinima's contracts existed, while Machinima said usually these promotional videos require that the content creators identify the promotion, which they weren't allowed to do this time around, and Machinima are shocked as to why this was not the case. I guess they didn't read their own terms and conditions. Aside from that, EA has its own promotional program called Ronku, which does more than just bearing a very silly name. It consists of YouTube users being paid to publish video content for Battlefield 4 and Need for Speed Rivals. Obviously, the promotion does seem to be pretty typical practice, but the issue for you guys and for the Federal Trade Commission, no less, is that these promotions are supposed to be overt and transparent. Whereas in practice, they all seem to be blanketed down into secrecy under confidentiality agreements. What do you think of the promotional program and do you think more companies are in on it? Let me know. Next up, everybody's favorite developer, CD Projekt Red, has said that The Witcher 3 would have been impossible for PS3 and Xbox 360. CEO Marcin Awinski said that had it been developed for last generation consoles, it would have been a smaller game that wasn't open world, with poor loading times and graphic sacrifices. Sound eerily similar to any other last gen console games you've played? Witcher 3 is, however, coming to PS4 and Xbox One, which speaks pretty well to the power of the new consoles. In fact, Owinski said that the difference between these console versions and the PC version isn't even that huge, since the new generation consoles are what he refers to as brand new PCs. Let me know which platform you'll be using to venture off into the realm of The Witcher 3 later this year. Last up today, Microsoft loves Naughty Dog, which is probably a tad unrequited since The Last of Us dev is a Sony-owned studio. Microsoft Xbox exec Phil Spencer has said the studio is special and unique and noted their amazing track record. His comments came in response to a question over what the Microsoft equivalent of Naughty Dog would be now that Bungie has regained its independence. To which Spencer replied they aren't interested in making a studio that's like another studio, they just want to cultivate a a group of great first-party studios. Let me know if you prefer the first-party studios of either Microsoft or Sony in the comments down below or on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. That is pretty much everything I've got for you today, but do remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check back with me tomorrow for what is very likely to be a bunch more news. I'm Jess McDonald and I'll see you soon.